Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are the many ebooks that I downloaded in the month of December. In December, there was the Stuff Your Kindle Day day and um, I went ham. <laughs> I got a lot of books, there's over 25 for this list, so um, bear with me. If you love ebook hauls, grab a snack. <laughs> And let's dive right on in. Because I have so many free ebooks that I downloaded last month, I am not gonna be talking about all my Kindle Unlimited downloads as well. Because without the Kindle Unlimited books, there's over 25 books. So we're not gonna do KU once. <laughs> you can tune into next month if you want to know what I've recently downloaded on KU. By the way, all the books that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below in the description. We'll mention the one ARC that I got, so advanced reader copy that I got as an ebook in December, and that is Whispers of the Deep by Emma Hamm. I love Emma Hamm's books. I've read quite a few of them. She writes great fantasy romance books, and this book comes out in January, and it is like a mermaid fantasy romance book. I'm sold. I'm gonna pick it up any day now. I'm really excited to pick this one up. So thank you so much, Emma Ham, for sending me a copy of this book. I can't wait to read it. Okay, all the rest were free books. Some of them I got on stuff for Kindle Day and some I didn't. Um, I talk about always my ebook calls in the order when I downloaded them. So like at the beginning of the month, I downloaded this one. And then the last book I talk about would be the last book that I downloaded in December. Anyway, so the first one that I have is Claimed by the Alien Bodyguard by Tiffany Roberts. Anytime I see a Tiffany Roberts book, I immediately download it. I saw Alien and I saw Bodyguard in the title. So done. And then I was gonna read this in December because I see there's a Christmas tree on it. And so I guess it's like holiday themed. However, I just didn't get to it and that's okay. I'll read it at a different time. Honestly, I could read this book all year long. I'm not one of those people that can read holiday reads only in December. Like I honestly don't care. So I could pick this up possibly soon. I don't know, but Bodyguard and Alien in the title honestly sold me and that's it. This book is on KU, by the way, if you're interested. Next is Given to the Wolf King by Adeland Graves. This book is currently free to download still. This is a fantasy romance that deals with like royalty and fae and there's like this curse. So the heroine in this book has to follow her father's command to live with the Wolf King of Nairn in order to figure out what is causing this darkness that's infecting the fae and human kingdoms. And these two really start falling for each other, but I think like secrets are revealed and they're at odds, um, but then they have to work together to defeat this darkness. Next is a book that I read in December. This is All I Want for Christmas is a Glitter Arc by K.L. Mann. I read this in December for the novellathon. It's so fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, it's just a short monster holiday read about a woman who wants a glitter orc for Christmas and man does she get one. This book is available on Kindle Limited if you're interested. Next is Alien Victor by Ursa Dax. This is the seventh book in the Faded Mates of the Sea Sand Warriors series. That's a tongue twister, goodness. This is available off of KU. I think all the books are on Kindle Limited. I've read a few of Ursa Dax books. All of them have been her like holiday monster reads, but I do want to read the books in this series. So anytime I just find an Ursa Dax book, I immediately download it. I don't know what this book is about. I don't want to know what this book is about. Whenever I just see familiar authors and their books are free, I just get them without reading the summary. All I know is that this is an alien romance and it's a part of a series that I've heard amazing things about. Next I have Claimed by the Alien Rogue by Krista Luna. This is the first book in a series, in an alien romance series, and it is on Kindle Unlimited. This is about Kara, our heroine, who gets roped into being at like a slave auction or something and a blue helium with or horns leaps to her rescue and they escape into the jungle zipping through the trees on a hover speeder <laughs> and gravin is our hero and he's this gorgeous hunky grumpy blue alien and yeah there's a language barrier between the two of them which is my favorite rescued by quian is the next one this one's by tamsin lee it's the first book in the galactic pirate bride series Ooh, space pirates i'm a sucker for okay pirates in general but this is still available to download for free if you're interested so quian's home planet has left his species without females i think there was a a sickness or something like that and now him and his crew are searching the galaxy for vengeance on who spread that sickness on their planet then he ends up rescuing a beautiful human female from her cryogenic slumber and he realizes that they're faded mates but humans are too fragile to withstand the mating bond with his species Ooh, 
I wonder what's gonna happen there. Then I have Eat My Moon Dust by Etta Pierce. I've heard fun things about this series um, and it was like holiday themed. So I was like, okay, why not get it in December? This one is on Kindle Unlimited still and it's the second book in a series. So I should totally check out book number one first. I'm going to. I don't know what this one is about, but it is the second in a series. So I don't really wanna read the summary for that one. Next is Chosen by the Raxian Commander by Star Huntress and Aelin Wynn. I read a few books from Star Huntress, but not Aelin Wynn. So I'm excited to read a new Alien Romance author. Um, this one is not on Kindle Unlimited, but you could purchase it for $3.99. This is apparently the first book in a series and the hero commander Nick has to find a bride in order to, I think, suppress the rebellion on his home planet or something like that. Um, and it's our heroine is a young healer, has a lot of battle scars and is broken by a deep betrayal. Another book that I just saw the author and immediately downloaded it. This is The Alien Sacrifice by Ella May. I've heard great things about Ella Maven. I've read a few, I think two of her books, but they were part of her Alien Motorcycle Club series and I didn't love those books, but a bunch of people were telling me, go read her other books. They're really good. So I'm doing it y'all, I'm doing it. So it's on Kindle Unlimited and right now it is currently free, but don't take my word for it because this video will be posted like in a week after I'm filming this. So don't tell me if, it, if it's not free anymore, please do not get mad at me. Right now, it's free. It's the first book in a series I have not heard about. Our heroine is on an alien planet called Corrin, where her and a bunch of other humans were gonna make a fresh start, but then they end up getting kidnapped, I think by some evil aliens, and they're gonna sacrifice her. And our hero, Lugent, ends up across her and saves her when he figures out that that's his fate mate. Next is The Alien's Bite by Ella Blake. Never heard about this book or this author, but it was free. It's not free anymore, but you can get it off of Kindle Unlimited. This is about Cora and Ryland. Cora was abducted off the space station where she teaches the standard galactic language and is imprisoned with two other women in a cold, dirty cell on an alien spaceship. But then a blue haired male rescues them. He takes them to his ship with a bunch of other alien pirates. They're the attraction that formed when he first carried her and his arms grows into a force neither of them can deny. Another alien romance that I found is Saved by the Alien Pirate. Sorry if you can hear the chainsaw. My dad is cutting something. This is by S.R. Griffith. Um, it's on Kindle Unlimited if you're interested in the first book in the Mates of the Imperium Pirates. So more space pirates. Can you tell I love pirates? <laughs> Andy said she was pretty sure she was kidnapped by accident. That's what the alien said, but he found something more exciting in my DNA scan. He's going to sell me to the highest bidder until his ship is overrun by space pirates. My life is saved for now by a handsome green alien. I'm instantly drawn to him or it's the trauma and depression. Things are starting to unravel. There's a bounty on my head and I don't believe space is the best place for me. Then I have Ru Ruger's, Ruger's Pearl by Carlotta Hughes. This is the first book in um, a duet by her, I'm pretty sure. And it's a monster romance with a uh, Scottish orcs. I have one other book in the series, like I got it for free like a year ago or something. So I saw another book in the series and I was like, yes, please. I'm getting it. This is on Kindle Unlimited if you're interested, um, but this one is about Amelia and Ruger. The hero of the story ends up getting swept in to her grandfather's home planet. He's not from Earth apparently, um, and she doesn't know how to get back. And then Rugar ends up finding her, who is a seven foot tall green orc bristling with weapons, whose sinful mouth and dark laughter make her heart race. Apparently he like becomes her bodyguard and helps her navigate this new world and is trying to help her go back home. Next is Claimed by the Alien Outlaw by Carlotta Page. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. This is the first book in a series, I think. Um, and it's about Jessica and Vorden. This is the classic tale of heroin gets kidnapped <laughs> from Earth and the hero comes across the captors and ends up rescuing her. Next is Alien Zoo by Deary, Deary Die, Deary Die. <laughs> this is available off of Kindle Unlimited. Nina is our heroine and she ends up getting kidnapped by aliens and she ends up getting stripped and is put in alone in a cell on another planet. The aliens won't talk to her. They gaze at her through large glass panes 
or stare at her over the edge of balconies, they treat her like she's an exhibit. The hero of the story is a possessive monster and is one of the ones keeping her trapped. He is kind to her, but he doesn't let her go. And he's even like thwarting all of her escape attempts. He's keeping her there, but he might be the first person to see her for who she truly is a person. But is he going to rescue her or keep her for himself? I've read a few alien romances kind of with this same premise. Um, and I really enjoyed them. So I hope I like this one. Then I have Captured by the Alien Barbarian by Kate Sinner. This is currently still available to download for free. Again, in a week, if it's not free anymore, please do not blame me. <laughs> but it is also on Kindle Unlimited. So if it's not free anymore, you can get it on KO. The heroine of the story decides to venture into the wilds of the planet Atraxis. Um, and a alien barbarian ends up rescuing her when she's gonna get like attacked by a native animal. Taxit, I think that's how you pronounce his name, I'm not sure, um, has tattoos, a tail, and a whole lot of attitude. <laughs> and he saves her life, claiming to be his fated mate. And he's adamant that she is his prisoner. Then I have Zora by Olivia Riley. Again, I just saw Olivia Riley's name, downloaded it, I've read I think one Olivia Riley book and really enjoyed it. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited if you are interested. It's the first book in the Varisha Warriors series. This is an alien romance between like Grace and Zora. Um, I think they're from like rivaling peoples or communities and she lives in an underwater planet, which is pretty cool. Next I have Freed by Eva Priest. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited and this is the first book I believe in a series. No, it's not the first in a series actually. This is a number, oh, this is the last one. Okay, I'm not gonna read the summary. It's just, it's the last one. I don't wanna, I don't wanna spell myself. Okay, <laughs> the next one is Stray by DJ Krimmer. This is still available to download for free. This one's about Ozzy and Jackson. I believe Ozzy ends up taking care of the hero's father. I believe the heroine is an at-home nurse and so she takes care of the hero's father. And I think they possibly live on a ranch. Yeah, it's because it's a part of a ranch series. Yeah, so like they live on a farm and stuff like that. And these two don't really get off on the right foot because I don't think Jackson likes the heroine all that much. Then I have Stow Away and Silent Song by Vera Valentine. This is on Kindle Limited. I just saw Vera Valentine, had to get her books. Her books are absolutely wild to me. They're so funny. She came out with Squeak, which was the balloon shifter romance. And then I haven't read her door one where the heroine like gets with a door. <laughs> so um, I think this is MMF with like um, serpent creatures or mermaids or something like that. And I have A Crown of Earth and Sky by Emberly Ash. This is available off of Kindle Limited. Um, these are fantasy books. Probably the next little chunk are gonna be with the fantasy books. I had my alien romance section because I was in the alien romance part of the Stuff Your Kindle Day and now we're on to the fantasy ones. This is apparently a twisted mythology retelling of the King Arthur legend and is a high steam fantasy romance with dark elements. Then is Ash and Roses by N.B. Snook. This is available off of Kindle Limited and it is the first book in a Beauty and the Beast inspired enemies to lovers series. Okay, so our hero in this story is only able to maintain his humanity for a few days each month. He spends most of his time within the forest devouring everyone and everything that crosses his path until the beast within him spares not only just a human girl, but his sworn enemy. Sold. I'm I wanna read that right now. Then I have Courting Death and Destruction by Emily Shore. This is on Kindle Unlimited, if you're interested. This looks like it's the first in a series and is a dark romanticy featuring a true enemies to lovers sharing one bed, forced marriage with mental health awareness. Okay, that sounds good. What has to do with the vampires? The heroine has a plan to become Neo's bride, share his bed, learn his weakness, and then kill him. If only he wasn't a bloodthirsty warrior who destroys all his brides. And I'm sure it's just an urban legend that he can't turn into a dragon. So it's like vampires and possibly dragon shifters. Then is A Dream of Flame and Shadow by L. Eveland. This is available off of Kindle Limited and it's a the first book in an MM fantasy romance series. But I'm confused, is it MM or MMM? Because there's three points of views in this summary. I don't know, I'm gonna probably go into that one blind because I don't know when I'm getting into that one. Next is Daughter of Truth by S. Frazier. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. In a world where you either have power or you don't, sometimes even those with the most power can't control everything. Thea has spent her whole life under the control of others, dreaming of being seen and heard, 
Cole has spent his life with far too much power, but utterly alone and waiting for her. An advantageous arranged marriage will bring them together while forces stronger than their desires for one another will try to tear them apart. Cole's family, the Maury's, have used their mythical powers of control for generations, ruling over the empire with an iron fist. In stark comparison, Thea's family has used their gift of Veritas to support their people and thrive in their own land. Their undeniable differences in upbringing will provide Thea and Cole with many obstacles to overcome before they can make it down the aisle. Concurrently, while on a journey to self-discovery, Thea uncovers dark truths about both the empire and Cole that might end them before they even get started. This next one looked so funny and so cute. This is Goldilocks and the Three Goblins by uh, Dakota Cockaday. <laughs> That's her name. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. I saw this was Single Dad and it deals with um, goblins or something. It looks so funny and there's pigs on the cover. Yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> Next is Mortal Desires by Scarlett Reyes. This is a monster romance. It's on Kindle Unlimited and is the first book in a series. Death follows wherever I go and now I need to pay my debts to their god. I'm Pilar Morales, the sixth daughter of the legendary Morales Coven. Each of us is blessed with a gift, but mine is a curse. Since I was five years old, I have seen the dead wandering our mansion. They reach out and talk, they beg for my help, and I have to quickly learn how to guide them through the gates of hell. But on Hollow's Eve, everything goes wrong. My sisters and I are separated and I am brought straight to the only being in the afterlife that hates me more than anything. Vic despises me. He wants me in the underworld so I can't ease the suffering of his souls but the only way to keep me in hell is to take me as his bride my new husband is set on making my eternal life miserable he's a god and i've been meddling in his business and he's not the god of forgiveness i'm his wife i'm his prisoner i'll never leave the underworld that sounds like hades persephone vibes i am here for it and the last one that i have for this video is the cupcake cottage by jean oram this is still available to download for free apparently this is a sweet friend celebrity romance with like cupcakes or something yeah i'm i'm gonna read that this is the romance between maverick and his best friend's beautiful ex daisy may and she's been hired to fix maverick's image he's been known as kind of like the playboy player but that's not him like at all. He does not know how the media has like perceived him in that way, but that's not him. And things get a little complicated when both of them realize like, oh, they're gonna have to spend more time together and they have crushes on each other. There you have it. Those are all of the books that I ended up downloading last month for free. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, if you got any of these books for Stuff Your Kindle Day, what books did you get that you're really excited for for Stuff Your Kindle Day? I would love to know. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.